going boys welcome everybody back to the second to play review i think this is probably going to be the last review today you know i actually kind of want to get a team of season navash review out because i'm always interested in some goalie reviews and i know you guys are too um but it's currently 7 a.m in the morning i'm leaving at 10 a.m in the morning to go ahead and go up to auckland to watch my football team play so it's like a five hour drive so like i said in my last couple videos there'll be no upload uh tomorrow or on sunday so apologies for that but we will be back on monday or tuesday it'll be monday evening for the uk tuesday morning for New Zealand so I will be back soon so Laz this is probably a f the last upload for a while so I'll miss this weekend's content so apologies for that but today boys we look at I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name Chao Henrik Chao Henrik Chao Henrique maybe so please let me know down below if you know how to pronounce his name you know what let's just call him Chao I, I, I don't fucking know you know what let's I, I I don't even know what the fuck you call him, let's be honest. Way anyway, boys, he's 5 foot 11, medium, medium work rates. He is left footed and he is free star, free star. We've gone ahead and we've gone with an anchor chemistry style, which puts him to 99 acceleration and 94 sprint speed, so 96 pace in game. His passing looks absolutely incredible with 99 short passing and 94 curve, and his 80, 95 agility, 95 balance looks absolutely fantastic. The anchor boost as well, giving him a plus 10 stand tackle, a plus 10 slide tackle, putting him to a respectable 89 slide tackle and 93 stand tackle 94 awareness 87 heading 98 interceptions and he does have 80 reactions which is lacking a little bit but other than that boys he gets a plus 10 strength boost as well going to 80 strength and a plus 5 aggression boost he does sadly not have any traits genuinely lads like i said i've already played the game with him uh, so i know how good this dude is but i'll show you guys the clips in a minute i'm just gonna say he was absolutely brilliant i'm just gonna no spoilers but he was absolutely brilliant you guys will see the clips coming up for the formation we did decide to play a four triple two um we, we started defensive and then went attacking but we we do have him when we are attacking on just join the attack and overlap and exact same with my other right back which is Kyle Walker and when we are defensive he is literally just balanced and mixed the tap so I think we stay defensive for the first bit and then we were two nil up and we just keep going at him to try and force my opponent to a rage quit so he went attacking for like the second end of the clips you guys will see but either way boys without further ado if you do get anything from this review make sure to drop a like and subscribe it's completely free and I mean I'll appreciate it a lot let's get into the clips boys so boys, I actually searched up how to pronounce his name, and apparently it's like Andriquez or something. I, I, I'm not too sure, lads, so please forgive me, and if you do know, obviously let me know down below. But we do decide to play a foot champs match, and the team we faced was actually very solid. A flashback Coutinho on there as well. And first of all, off the bat, we are testing his pace. This is one of the most fun left backs, underrated. Just, he, he had everything, lads. He had everything, as you'll see in his clips. His dribbling was incredible, the 95 agility and 95 balance was phenomenal. As you can see, he gets that interception through. We run up the pitch can't lie this pass wasn't the, the part the pass wasn't the most convincing pass but it did work out in our favor obviously Pale going through there and Kenny Dalglish did put us two in front so it did work out in our favor but a brilliant interception and I mean going like he offers so much going forward as you can see here he is one of the most silkiest smoothest cards I've ever used obviously it can help that the, that the internet was good or the EA servers were actually good but he was ridiculously smooth on the ball and usually I've passed the ball at this point right but I've decided let's keep going he's still gone another ball roll another ball roll he's still going and he finally gets tackled but like i said he is the most silky agile very very freaking responsive card you could ask for genuinely as a left back he is incredibly underrated and in fact he's only seventy thousand coins genuinely baffles me he was absolutely phenomenal and i would say without a doubt the best brazilian at left back except for roberto carlos in the game right now 100 percent as you can see as well we do get an assist with him i see that early run it was an early time crosses or not time but an early cross to Pale and Pale does put us 3 0 ahead with 22 minutes. As you can see, once again, he once again offers a lot going forward back to him. He's running down the pitch, and we give that through to, I believe, was that Otavio? Otavio goes in. I think we give that to Pale, and my opponent is indeed out of there. He offered so much going forward. I believe he got two semi assists, one assist, and obviously just a very, very, very fun, silky card. His agility and balance was genuinely absolutely phenomenal. His work rates as well as cl class. So, boys, as you can see, the pros is going to be his pay passing dribbling agility and balance specifically obviously 95 agility 95 balance is incredible and as for the cons I had to search to find cons and you already know when you have to search a long time to find some cons to even put under the cons list then it's going to be a good freaking card Three star skill moves is the only con and even then it's not a massive con it's not a deal breaker at all Three star skill moves is not um, you know, um, you don't need four star skill moves for a fullback. It is not a must have, but genuinely, lads, for three star skill moves is the only thing that you could have upgrading on. Performance rating will be a 9.5 out of 10. 
Absolutely phenomenal. Obviously, you guys should know how these performance and value ratings works. Obviously, we rate him on how he performed, and we do rate him on how the value for the card, the price, and all of that. Performance rating, 9.5 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic. Didn't put a step wrong at all. Genuinely, like, you could even debate it's a 10 out of 10, a 9.5. Like, the only reason I didn't give him a 10 out of 10 is obviously because there is a lot. I've had, I've used a lot of good cards. He's not the best card I've ever used, but he's up there. So that's the reason he's not a 10 out of 10. I don't think I've ever given someone a performance rating a 10 out of 10. So a 9.5 for me is a very high rating, and a value rating is something else that is very high for me, a 9.2. Genuinely, he was absolutely incredible value. You can see it's a tick already. Genuinely, I cannot vouch for this dude enough. And the thing is, he's five foot eleven. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a look on Footbin, which we usually do. Just take a little deeper look at these things, right? So I believe he's got an average body type. I could be wrong. So he starts off as a left wing back. Obviously, you want to position change him down. So he's three star freestyle, which as I said is a pain. So yeah, he's five eleven, and the reason he feels so good on the ball, and I was thinking the same thing. How come he feels so good on the ball? How come he's so responsive when he's five eleven? Most five foot eleven players have an average body type. Now this dude here on recap, I believe it's pronounced has a lean body type in game and obviously according to footbin you can have a look if you don't have a footbin app you can see all of the players body types for example Lukaku I believe is a high and average I think he's got his own body type to be honest because he's so unique but for example clunky players have got what's called a high and average body type high and average body type is the worst body type to have in the game Ibrahimovic is high and average um, I believe or high and lean high and tall something like that and I think the average body type is one of the worst have well, not the worst to have it in the game obviously the average body type is not bad but most clunky players there's no clunky players with what you call a lean body type but they've all got average or high and average or clunky body types whereas as you see Enrique on footbin has got the lean body type which the lean body type is the best body type in the game it literally makes him feel so much more silky on the ball and that really does explain despite being five foot eleven how good he actually does feel on the ball now another look in his game right so the crazy thing with this card is how versatile he is. He's an 88 rated left wing back, but with no chemistry style applied in game, he's a 90 rated centre mid. Very versatile, you could play him literally anywhere. The thing is, literally chuck a finisher on him, boom, he's an 89 rated striker. He's a 93 rated cam, he's a 92 rated centre mid. If you want to go with an anchor, which is what we've gone with, he goes to a 92 rated left back, a 91 rated centre back, a 93 rated CDM, and a 91 rated centre mid in game. So obviously, if you guys don't have footbin i highly recommend getting it you can just play around with the chem styles and take a deeper look at this card but this card genuinely lads is one of the best left backs i have used and i've used a lot of left backs and this dude was very very surprising for 60 he's dropped to 60,000 coins now so for 60,000 coins he is an absolute bargain an absolute bargain lads hopefully this video did help you guys out if it did in any way in any shape or form make sure to drop a like and subscribe once again i am sorry i do get some hate now and again when i can't pronounce these names but can you guys blame me genuinely a, a kid from new zealand how am i supposed to pronounce his name genuinely lads though i've had a lot of fun recording these reviews as i said i'm going to go away on holiday now for like two days i'm going to go watch a football match so yeah um apologies there'll be no videos coming out anytime soon but i say anytime soon it'll only be a few days break but still lads hopefully you guys did enjoy sub if you're new it's been your boy davis and until next time guys i'll see you guys all later peace out lads